So it's the first weekend of the Manapori 50th where we're getting ex-construction workers back to site and helping them reconnect with one another. Down the tunnel and into the machine hall floor and have a look around. We've got about 200 people and that's a blend of original construction workers and across the eras to community and schools. And we're taking people over to Deep Cove as well and I just expect people to really enjoy being together. Nice to be back to see the waterfalls and, and, and the water and all the trees that have grown. It's just beautiful. And the rain, <laughs> special. <laughs> you never see bush before like that. There was nothing here before. Completely nothing. It's marvellous. I really like it. I was a uh, West Arm a mechanical fitter from 1986 till 1993. I came from Christchurch, just got married, come down here whole new experience but really loved it. Well I came from the United States. Um, my role was a field engineer here at the um, second tail race tunnel project. I couldn't pass this opportunity to work here in uh, Fjordland. And our staff, I mean they're passionate about hydro. Uh, my name's Blair, I'm the acting site manager so uh, I'll be your tour guide today. So They're all totally amped about bringing back you know the construction workers and the community to show them the great work that we do and keeping you know the lights on. Pretty amazing how it was built to be fair. Like all those tunnels and that, and they, how they all link up. And to see where Dad worked, we were lucky enough to tail along and have a look through. It was awesome. Some of you in this room worked tirelessly to build the station during the 1960s, hewn from the hard rock inside the mountain at the end of Lake Manapuri 50 years ago. The technology that built that station 50 years ago was not that advanced. Drills, explosives, reasonably rudimentary earth moving machinery of the days, sweat, blood, sacrifice of the tunnelers who worked long hours in near darkness and always wet. It was 80 hour shifts underground and sometimes if someone didn't turn up you had to do a double shift and that's 16 hours boy that really knocked the hell out of you nearly all of you would have moved away from home away from family and friends to this very remote but absolutely beautiful part of the world so when i started there the only way to get into deep cove was upon an airplane you had to fly and so Everything was weather related. If the planes weren't flying, you weren't going to work. There's something deeply sad, yet enormously powerful in the knowledge that so many lives were lost completing this massive endeavour. So there was a small, cosy, intimate group to remember those 16 men that lost their lives, which was quite sombre, but it was really nice to presence them as part of this marking 50 years. Some of these men were fathers. Each came to the project with hopes and dreams for themselves and their families, which would sadly never be realised. So we've um, planted some beech and some kōwhai and had a beautiful plaque that says turn your face to the sun and let the shadows fall behind. Such a large project of course warrants many birthdays. The tail race tunnel was completed in October 1968, nine kilometres long, hewn from solid rock. Yeah. My involvement on the job was a driller, <laughs> a tunnel. We'll put it that way. Then on the jumbo down the face, from the face to the machine hall, from the machine hall to the other face and broke through. That was it. Bad. You see the photos and you see what they were working with and the conditions and hard to imagine what it would have been like. That was fantastic. An incredible job. Really, really, really was. Awesome. Meridian Energy are absolutely honoured to be the custodians of such an important asset for all New Zealanders for the last 22 years. That's how old uh, Meridian is. It's a privilege we take very seriously. I'd like you to contemplate how beautifully that wonderful power station sits silently and quietly within a World Heritage Area and the National Park, which it is a part of. Manapori is a cornerstone of New Zealand's renewable energy past and it's absolutely vital to New Zealand's renewable energy future, no less relevant today than it was 50 years ago. So on behalf of all the people of Aotearoa, we thank you for your labours, we thank you and those who work with you, those who are here, 
and those who have sadly since passed away. It was taken in 1968 and it's still got some beer in it. With all their wives, their children, their grandparents, for all the boys.